The Bible says that women ought to dress appropriately, such as fitting for for those who profess to serve God. And the Bible speaks of not dressing with fancy clothes and braided hair, but with good deeds. That's what the Bible says. And so I used to go to a pretty big church and there was all these women who would dress inappropriately for church. And you say, well, here's the deal. Here's what they don't understand. All these guys who are celibate for God or supposed to be celibate for God and you're going to dress like that in order to, you're going to be a temptation. Listen, women who do not dress appropriately to church are a stumbling block. That's what they are. And if a guy is called to be celibate, there might be a guy who doesn't even want to look at you but can't resist because you're wearing a tight shirt and boobies all pushed up. I remember when that was popular. It was like a spandex shirt that women would wear. All over the church, mini skirts and tight pants and tight jeans and tight clothing and v-necks. What you don't realize is the men of the church who are single and young are supposed to be celibate and last thing they need is to be during praise and worship checking you out. And for guys who are called to be celibate, like their whole life, they have a close walk with God and they don't appreciate it. But here's what the Lord showed me once. There was a couple of girls at the church that would dress really, really, you know, kind of tight-fitting clothing, showing off their figure. And you know what the Lord told me? He said, first of all, they're not going to attract the type of guy that they really need. If they dress in loose-fit clothing, not do too much makeup, I mean, it's one thing to be attractive. It's another thing to be a little bit too sexy. If they would change how they dress, the right man would come right along right away. And they finally find the right guy. But because they're trying to be sexy and dressing inappropriately, they're not going to find him. And the guy that they do find is going to be not exactly the right type of guy. In other words, they're, the way they dress, like when you, here's what the Lord showed me. He said, when you go fishing for a bottom-dwelling, scum-sucking catfish, that bottom feeder, you use a big chunk of nasty old flesh. A big piece of dead, rotten, bloody chicken liver. And you let it sit at the bottom. And that's what these women are doing. They're dressing themselves up all fleshly. And oh, lo and behold, they attract some big fish. But unfortunately, it's a nasty, bottom-dwelling flesh lover. Meanwhile, a girl who dresses appropriately might be just as beautiful or even more beautiful, but she doesn't show herself off. And next thing you know, she's like, she's catching a healthy trout. I'm just saying. In other words, the way a woman dresses is going to attract the type of person, the type of man that you that you're going to attract. No wonder you can't find a good man of God. But here's another thing the Lord told me. He said, some of these women, and this happened, this happened. He told me, the Lord spoke to me and said, there's a, a, several women in the church that have, were real slender and beautiful, and then they would dress to show off their figure. Kind of tight. But they would also dress a little bit borderline, like not so bad, and like, like not completely the world, but also not completely modest either. Somewhere in the middle. And you know what the Lord told me? He said, I'm going to give them over to a spirit of gluttony and a spirit of laziness. And I'm going to cause that little slim little tummy of hers to get all bulged out. And then she'll dress appropriately because she's overweight and she has to hide her little bubbly belly. And I, I remember the Lord spoke that to me. Did you know just a few months later, every single one of those girls was overweight and the clothes that they had used to wear, they didn't wear anymore. And then one day I came to church and sure enough, they're wearing loose fit baggy clothing. And I thought, wow, that came to pass exactly as God said. Now they didn't have a slim little cute little figure to show off. 
Now they didn't have that tight little nice little round butt to wear tight pants around. And so instead, because they had bubbly now and, and overflowing in the wrong way, they would dress more modestly in order to cover up their tummy. Hide that. So God showed me that sometimes that's his judgment. If you're not going to obey God when you can, when it's easy to obey God, he'll hand you over and you're going to have to do God's will. You're going to have to dress modestly. I remember when I was in college, man, I used to lift weights. I could, I could squat 335 11 times and I weighed 170 pounds. Okay, my max was like, almost 500 and I lifted weights I lifted for symmetry I wasn't too worried about power I wanted symmetry and I had spent years working on symmetry and I then I got saved but I would still wear like sh uh, short shorts and I'd roll my sleeves up and wear a t-shirt roll my sleeves up so you could see my biceps and stuff like that and one day this old man came up to me in the church Actually, I was sitting there in the church and, and I saw like three or four women like looking at me and talking and kind of pointing. And I thought, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, they think I'm attractive. Yeah, you know, I have my chest all out. But then I see him talking to this old guy, right? And this old guy comes over and he says, young man, come with me. And he says, you can't be wearing those short shorts in this place. You should be wearing, dressed more appropriately. And at first I was offended. I was like, what? What are you talking about? I'm not doing anything wrong. And then, now here's how you know. Then let him who has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. In the middle of me being irritated and offended and, I'm not coming back to this church. Who's he to judge me like that? But then the Holy Spirit convicted me. And I went, oh. And I had a revelation. And you know what? I started rolling my shirt sleeves down so... You know, I'd wear pants instead of... I used to roll my shorts up just high enough that you could see that V in the muscles right above the knee. So I'd change the way I dress. And I kept going to that church and it was a good church. And in the end, the Bible says... You know what? It's true. The Bible says that a rebuke in the end will bring more favor. And I remember that old man, I had favor in my heart. I had favor for that old man. That rebuked me. I was glad he did it. And I needed it. I was only maybe. I don't think I had even been saved a whole year. But anyway. So that's my testimony of. I'm not judging anyone. Because I had the same problem. What I will judge you for. Is if you hear God's word. And you reject it. And refuse to repent. Refuse to repent. Well, I just have. I want to church. Okay. Then I hand you over to a de demon of gluttony. And now you're going to have to hide what you have. And if you want to meet the right man, instead of running around with the wrong guy every six months getting tangled up in some web with some guy that, oh, I can't, can't believe this happened again. It's just not working out. I thought I was going to be married by now. Meanwhile, change the way you dress. Just saying, you're a stumbling block. And what's, what's Jesus saying? The parable of the weeds among the wheat? Matthew chapter 13, starting in verse 37 to 42, he says God's going to go through the whole church and remove every single stumbling block and everything that causes sin. I remember being at church and there was this girl, oh my gosh, she was so beautiful and she had these tight clothes on, she had her makeup on. <sighs> I couldn't even worship God. I was trying to worship the Lord. I was trying to seek God and I, I kept having to look at this girl. I've been celibate for several years. I was a single guy in my 20s. Serving God as best I can. Last thing I want is to have a stumbling block in the church while I'm trying to worship God and I can't take my eyes off this girl. And some people, well, you need to get your heart right with God and just need to repent yourself. No, I did repent. I serve God. She needs to dress appropriately to church because that's what the Bible says. It's both. And if you're a single celibate guy who's been single and celibate for long enough, you know what I'm saying is true, that these women need to dress appropriately.
Because you've done your part in being celibate and serving God and turning away and in prayer on Friday night instead of being out. And in prayer on Saturday night instead of going out. And running, going running uphill to burn off your energy instead of burning off your energy with some girl. So then it falls on her, it's her job and her personal requirement and her personal service to the Lord to dress appropriately just like the Bible says. And you need to get a revelation that when there's guys in the church who are serving God and have to be celibate and God hasn't brought them a wife yet, you're a stumbling block when you dress inappropriately and flaunt your little booty around the church. <laughs>